All right, students. So switch over to a PowerPoint here to teach you about snowflakes. Slideshow from beginning. Here we go. Magical. All right, so snowflakes. This is a pretty amazing thing. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a scientist, but there is science behind this. Um, as microscopic cloud droplets are coming out of these clouds above our heads, they're hitting the freezing cold air. They're turning from a, um, was it like a liquid to a solid? They're crystallizing midair. Um, as they fall through the air, there are slightly different temperatures happening. You know, when they say, oh, it's, uh, you know, 32 degrees out. Yeah, mainly, but some parts of the sky are 31.5. And other parts of the sky are 29.7, and some of them are 33.2. And all those slight temperature fluctuations changes the crystals. It changes the shape of them. And I find it amazing that this phenomenon takes place, that what usually is rain now becomes tiny little crystals that build up into uh, like snow. Uh, the beautiful thing is if you can see them up close, and you can, sometimes they'll land on your jacket and you just look with your with your bare eyes, you can actually see the tiny little snowflake design. Now, if you can get really up close, like a microscope or some kind of like lens that can really zoom in, snowflakes are stunning looking. Um, one of the things, at least I'm going to connect to the art, is radial symmetry. Uh, radial symmetry, well, you are guys pretty much already know that regular linear symmetry, like people, you got an eye on one side, you have an eye on the other side. You have an ear on one side, you have an ear on the other side. They're balanced. Um, you see that a lot, normal symmetry or linear symmetry. Radial symmetry means they're balanced in a circle. They're balanced in multiple directions. Specifically, snowflakes generally have hexagonal symmetry. What? Um, think of a hexagon. Hexagon has six sides. Most snowflakes have six points or six sides to them. Try looking up why this is. Um, it was a lot of information out there. I found this website seems to be pretty legit, Scientific American. Um, it says snowflakes are symmetrical because they reflect the internal order of the water molecules as they arrange themselves into a solid state, otherwise known as crystallization. Like I said, science, it just blows my mind. There's so much you can learn through science. I only understand some of it, but if you're interested in how this world around us works, learn science, focus on science. Um, to continue on, water molecules in the solid state, such as in ice or snow, they form weak bonds between the molecules um, called hydrogen bonds. Um, the order arrangements result in basic symmetrical hexagonal shapes of snowflakes. Whoa. For us, we're going to be drawing snowflakes. So here's a couple amazing images like this must be under a microscope. I mean, look at the detail in these snowflakes. It's really something special. So I'm going to switch over to uh, some videos I made of drawing snowflakes to teach you a nice, easy way to approach drawing snowflakes uh, so that you can make cool pictures in the wintertime. All right, so let me get rid of this PowerPoint. I'm going to switch back to my Google videos here. Um, let's do this first one right here. And I'm going to be quiet for a minute and let this thing play. Oh, oh man, now I feel silly. That's my time lapse. All right, I'm going to switch over to this video. Sorry about that, folks. And let's go.
All right, let me switch that time lapse video. Give me one moment. Uh, get off the full screen here. Bam, we're going over to the time lapse. Check this out. Let's play this. So, I'm pretty quick here, but you can see try to do a variety, mix it up, try different designs, do something cool in the background. Man, it really did go fast. Um, I love to see what you kids create. So let's see some cool snowflake drawings. Try your best. Be creative. Come up with different things. Let's rock it out. I'm excited to see your designs, my friends. So make sure you either email me a picture of it or submit it through Canvas. Um, I'll count it for extra credit because, again, these at this point are optional. It's your choice to do this stuff. And um, cool. Keep making art. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you guys in school. See you next time.